Hey everyone, Cole here with trainwithcole.com. I wanted to make a, a quick video talking about a topic that is beat to death um, in just about any industry. Um, but the problem is we as humans are pretty terrible at it. Um, we like to think that we're not, but really at the end of the day, I think a lot of us are. And so I want to make a video to encourage uh, you to to not be one of those people who don't uh, follow through. Now, before I talk about what I want to talk about, I'm not sitting here saying that I am some master of it because um, I'm not necessarily in everything in life. I think in some things I do it well in, um, but I don't want to come across as saying that I have this figured out and that I'm above it because I certainly am not. But that is the idea of consistency um, in things that we want to achieve, things that we are doing that are purposeful and meaningful to us that have um, some kind of end goal we're trying to reach. We often hear phrases like consistency is king or um, you'll hear athletes talk about um, how consistency is what has led them to whatever high level of success maybe they've reached. Frankly, the truth of the matter is, is it is the dead honest truth. Um, consistency in anything uh, will bring about results, or at least it should, if it's a good and quality consistency to what we are wanting to achieve. Um, what's funny though is the uh, adverse or the inverse of not being consistent is in fact being consistent. Um, it's very possible to be consistent at being inconsistent, right? If you have a goal that you're trying to achieve, but you're not doing any of the things you should be doing consistently to reach them, then you're consistently doing the inconsistent things to not reach that goal. Um, I think a lot of people don't sit and think about the reverse side of that coin. Um, but the focal point that I want to drive home here uh, is a quote actually that Warren Buffett uh, said, uh, again, Warren Buffett being one of the top three or four richest individuals on the planet, um, he has been quoted saying that your routine is the heart of your life. Um, not what you think, but what you physically actually do on a daily basis is what will bring you whatever goal you're trying to achieve. Now, as you guys know, I do online fitness and physique consultation and personal training. I do that as my career. Um, so of course, like that's a, something that I constantly am trying to educate and admonish my clients and say, hey, you need to be consistent in the diet and the training that I program so we can get you to the goals that you want. Um, but uh, I mean, obviously, you, you, you know, everyone knows that consistency can be applied to absolutely anything that they're doing. Um, again, the problem is, is that we just are really terrible at that follow through. Um, in some things, anyway. Um, I think part of that's human nature, uh, but at the same token, we cannot let that define and override our innate passions for what we want to pursue. Um, so I really want to encourage people, you who's watching this video, set yourself free by doing the things you need to be doing to reach what you truly want. If in fact you truly want to reach your goal, maybe you need to do some reassessing to see, hey, I said I'd wanted to reach this goal, but I'm not doing anything consistently to make it happen. Maybe this isn't what I really want. And that's okay. Um, find something else you really want to do. But there's certainly a level of freedom when you just follow through and do what you need to do. Um, you typically enjoy yourself a lot more. I find that you probably, most people think about themselves and their outlook on life and just their whole life in general in more positive um, way when they're doing affirming and consistently positive things. So that's the message I just wanna give. Uh, just my thoughts, I've been dwelling on that for a little while, I wanted to share that. Um, but let's remember that quote by Warren Buffett, that your routine is the heart of your life. If you don't like the heart of your life and what's going on, examine your routines. What is being negative? What could be changed into a positive to make your life better? Hit me up with an email at trainwithcole117 at gmail.com or comment below me. Let me know what you think. Um, and love to discuss about it. Take care.